Hello and welcome to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Kendall Eugene, your host, and today we have with us two members of the uh, Bexor Jazz, or as you should be calling it, Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz. Everybody has already dubbed it Bexor Jazz, so we yes. just might as well keep the name. We've adopted that. <laughs> That's okay. yes. Yeah, we find it that. We have with us the PRO of the Events Committee, Ms. Kira St. Rose, and uh, the chairperson of Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz, Mrs. Kathleen Cadet Andrew. That's me. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Now, let's uh, jump right into the mix of it all. I would like to know what brought on a jazz activity in the community of Bex. So we know Bex for many things, including the floods. However, jazz in Bex was something that was unheard of. So whose idea was it to bring jazz to the community. Jazz in Bexan emerged from the vision of our parliamentary rep, mm -hmm. the Honorable Joachim Henry, and of course we took it right. We were excited about it because you, I'm not sure, Scotty, you say you do not know Bexan for music? For, for jazz. For jazz. jazz, okay, but music mm -hmm. is something that Bexan is bursting with, especially gospel music. Mm -hmm. A lot of our um, entertainers in the gospel industry in St. Lucia comes from Bexon. Okay. So we have Christians like, of course, you may have heard of Shulian, Cyril Mayers, and then Linus de Tourville. Mm -hmm. We have lots of groups which have begun in Bexon and are still thriving. Mm -hmm. We have, of course, the Labby SD Primary School Choir. I mean, this choir is known all throughout St. Lucia mm -hmm. and beyond. And of course, I'm sure you've heard of Robert Rene. Mm -hmm. Of mm -hmm. course, Robert is from Castry Southeast, but then his singing career um, got that boost from the Labby community because he was part of a community choir that we had. So, I mean, Bexon is bursting with musical talents, and that was like the best thing we could have done mm -hmm. for, to participate in this event that, I mean, that has St. Lucia on the. World map. World scale to correct, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. right. All right, so the, um, the idea to bring it down, uh, that is the, the entire jazz activity, came from the Honorable Joachim Henry. Yes. All right. What, what do you think he wanted to um, give us when he brought that idea to the table? I think he wanted, um, to, apart from the musical um, talents that are available in Castro Southeast, he, always want, he also wanted to add to the economical development of St. Lucia with jazz because this event has created so many opportunities for persons. You know, we have vendors and stuff mm -hmm. who've come on board mm -hmm. and then they will be able to showcase the talents. They business also, expo as well. Right, we have a business expo where we're trying to capitalize on the Youth Economy Agency and the MSME programs mm -hmm. that Saint Lucia, the government of St. Lucia recently introduced. So we have some of our entrepreneurs there who will be marketing themselves on that day also. Okay. So it's not just a musical experience. We have quite a number of activities. This is why we're starting at 1 o'clock because we are, I mean, we know right now at 1 o'clock the sun is blazing hot. Mm -hmm. But then, I mean, I'm not even sure if I should jump into why are we starting at one? <laughs> we, because we, we, we yeah, will get there. We'll get there. <laughs> I mean, I'm so excited. I mm -hmm. really want to yes. tell you more. But yes. So this is one of the things. We wanted to participate and contribute to the economic development of St. Lucia also. Excellent. Well, since you mentioned economic development of St. Lucia, we have, of course, uh, Kira St. Rose with us as well, um, the PRO of the committee. Right. And Madam Chairperson mentioned a business expo. Mm -hmm. Now, for Everyone thinking Bex or Jazz, in their mind it would be only music. Oh no. What's the business expo about? What, what are we looking forward to there? So this is, so you know these entrepreneurs who have benefited from the Youth Economy Agency and mm -hmm. the MSME program, um, who they will be showcasing the business on that day. So you know those people who have um, food businesses, these people who have innovative businesses, they will be, you know, participating in that expo. Mm -hmm. Excellent. If, will, there, will it only be young persons participating in the business expo? No, but remember the, biz, the Youth Economy Agency starts, caters to, young, caters to people. young people and then the MSME program starts from 35 and over. So, mm -hmm. you know, it we will be a mixture, mixture right, Excellent. of mm -hmm. who is there. Will it only be individuals from around the community of, uh, no. or no. the constituency of Catholic Southeast no. or 
environment from all around the island. All, all around, around the island. island. Yeah, we, we were able to share the love and mm -hmm. allow other persons to do this. I mean, in as much as we would have wanted to maybe focus on Castry Southeast, we also have patrons from other communities who will be there. And then we also give that opportunity mm -hmm. for other individuals to come in and market their product. And some of the items that they produce would even be on sale. So in as much as it's a free event, mm -hmm. I notice you've not mentioned that, but then this is one thing we want to emphasize. Mm -hmm. It's a free event with capital F, R, E, E. Mm -hmm. We still want you to come in with some ching ching so you can patronize our right. you know, <laughs> vendors and our, um, even those persons who are displaying their product, some of them for the first time, mm -hmm. because you have persons using their talents and their gifts to create things, little trinkets and mm -hmm. stuff, you know, accessories and stuff. You want to support them. So we ask you to work with as much as you can um, you know, with to support the, um, the various the various like entrepreneurs. Yeah. I love the fact that a business expo has formed part of the uh, Hills and Valley's jazz experience. Yeah. And the reason for that is because not every time you have the young entrepreneur getting the opportunity to showcase what they have to offer yeah. on that type of stage, on that type of scale. Will we be getting live demonstrations of um, probably how the items are created, how they're made? But for some the of them, mm -hmm. you will. Well, with an expo, I think when you get to one of the business owners, you'll ask them, how did you create that? Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they will tell you. Mm -hmm. So it's an exposition. They will tell you. They will put out their products, but mm -hmm. they will also tell you how they did it. A learning yeah. process a while yes. we enjoy right. yes. music. Great music. Excellent. Yeah. And of course, you mentioned why we enjoy great music. Mm -hmm. During that time, we will not have live music on because we, um, we cater into every member of the family, from mm -hmm. the young to the old. And then of course, we've gone to the expo part, but then the most important one during that segment would be the kiddies um, Play playland, land. where we have bouncing castle, bumper cars, mm -hmm. the bubble house, the train ride experience, face painting, cotton candy, co oh, cotton, ca everything you can think of that right. would that would excite a child. Mm -hmm. So we do not want anybody leaving your children at home. Mm -hmm. Bring them out; they'll have fun. They'll be occupied. They'll be a hey, when when you get home, you'll have no problem saying they'll it's time for bed. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have time. No. Yes. So the um, Hills and Valleys um, inspirational experience and Bexo is segmented, not just music, but a business expo. Oh. Let, let's talk about the time everything will start off. Before we jump into the artists that will be performing, we will come to That's all of that. That's for later, yes. Okay. Well, let, let's talk about the time of it all. It's already, it's already been um, highlighted that it's free. Mm -hmm. We love that price. But I know. One o'clock. Yes. We don't often hear activities like that starting at one o'clock in the afternoon. Like you articulated earlier, sun is blazing hot. Yes. What is the reasoning behind that one p.m. startup time? Because we want to capitalize on daylight a lot. Mm -hmm. That's one. And two, usually you get children most active around this time of day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, with school and everything, you know, around that time, you cannot get a child out um, of the sun mm -hmm. outdoors and see come inside. So, since we are catering to this um, age group, mm -hmm. we thought that would be the best time. That's when the energy level is high and they're able to... And to capitalize on daylight as well. Um, at that time, you want to get pictures because it's a family mm -hmm. friendly. We're mm -hmm. trying to make it a family friendly. You want to get pictures of your child in the bounce house, in the bubble house. You know, so we need daylight to make that happen, mm -hmm. right, Scotty? Mm -hmm. So we, we wanted to start off at that time. So you have enough time from before the, 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 the music itself mm -hmm. to spend some time with your children, with your children. spend some time getting some food because remember one o'clock time, that's time that's lunch people time. try to get some yeah. food. So some food, mm -hmm. the business expo and the children's funding. Yeah. So you're basically telling everybody, don't worry about cooking lunch. What? No, right. what you cooking it's lunch a holiday. for? Um, Scott, it's a holiday. It's Labor Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why work? Mm -hmm. It's Labor Day. That's a very good point. Yes. Right. That's a very good point. You, so why, why work? Why work? <laughs> it's May 1, that's mm -hmm. Labor Day. That's the day that laborers are supposed to put down their tools, mm -hmm. come right. enjoy jazz. That cannot be a better day to start off the season. Now, the, the, the thought process behind choosing May 1st, why? 
Yes, it's a holiday, but it's still in the middle of the week. Because it's a holiday, yes, mm -hmm. and it's the opening of jazz. So what best place to be, the opening of jazz, to start it on an inspirational height, mm -hmm. you know? That was the best thing. I, I, when I heard um, the minister mention that, I'm like, he took it right of our mouth. This is exactly why we thought the best way to begin the jazz season mm -hmm. Is an inspirational. inspirational. Yeah. Yeah, so from the opening, the day before, yeah. we head right into the inspirational yeah. mood, and of course, usher in the jazz. Usher in the jazz. And when we go back to work on Thursday, we feel rejuvenated. Rejuvenated, mm -hmm. ready to take on the rest of the week. You know, Friday is gonna be. No, that's Thursday is mm -hmm. gonna be Monday for a lot of people. Yeah. Because yeah. your energy level, your energy level is gonna be really high, Scotty. It's mm -hmm. like you rested a couple of days because mm -hmm. you're <laughs> coming out there bouncing, pepping your step. Now, when we hear Hills and Valleys inspirational jazz in Bexo, mm -hmm. a lot of folks are like, Where in Bexo? Mm -hmm. What part of Bexo can we have a show of that magnitude. Where exactly will it be held? Where is uh, the, the venue? I mean, we're better than the Bexo playing field. In the valley. In the valley. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have all the hills surrounding Bexo. Mm -hmm. So it's right there on the playing field. We have two huge playing fields in Bexo. Okay. So we occupy in one of them. It's mm -hmm. designated just for that. All right. Hills and valleys. Uh -huh. Now I'm trying to picture where the name came from, but who came up with the name? That Now you mentioned... We have a uh, hills there and valleys over there. Yes. Who came up with that name? Well, it was a committee activity. Mm -hmm. We sat and we were brainstorming and like, hmm. And then two things, apart from our picturistic, you know, hills, and, hills valleys. and valleys, we thought of people having hills and valleys in life and stuff. There are times when you're high on the mountain, everything mm -hmm. is okay. Mm -hmm. And when you're on the low, you're in the valley. So right. both of them contributed to us adopting that name. And of course, it, it may seem like a long name. So like you said just now, mm -hmm. it's quickly becoming popular. The Bexo Jazz is becoming the most popular thing. But our, like they say, government name is Hills and Valleys Hills and Inspirational Valleys. Jazz. The, nick, yeah. the nickname, the, okay, the household name. The household name. We is can, yeah, Bexo we've jazz. adopted that. Yeah. We've accepted it, <laughs> yes. We have um, performers galore mm -hmm. ready to take the stage at the uh, Hills Talents and Valleys galore. Inspirational mm -hmm. Jazz. When we had the press conference, mm -hmm. we were introduced to a few individuals that would be yeah. performing. Has the list grown since then? Scotty, you don't believe the number of persons who've come forward requesting uh, a spot on that stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were inundated with calls and had to say, okay, let's leave it for next time because our list was so long. At one point, when we were putting the program together, Kira, it's like, hey, we had to just not cut people off, but then Straight we on. really had to. Even persons wanting to perform more than two items, mm -hmm. we had to cut this because we don't want the show to be too long. Mm -hmm. We just want it to be sweet and short. So this is why, again, we have all these segments because we don't want you to come and just have a musical experience. Right. Most, uh, mostly throughout the jazz season, this is what you'll get. Lots of music and singing and all of this. Mm -hmm. So this is why we had it segmentized and then we have all of these. What segments can we look forward to? All of the them, day? Scotty. All, all of them. them. I'm I, I, can't, I cannot tell you which one is better or which one is more important. All of them. Because it's a different experience for every segment. But I know which one people will look forward to the most. Mm -hmm. I guess our climax, our final this event, the, the, musical, mm -hmm. the musical segment. Oh, we have, we have something before the musical segment? <laughs> of course, so all of what we just mentioned. Just Apart from the enjoying of the show. And the food mm -hmm. and all of this. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you'll have dance as well. <laughs> oh, we do have a dance group. Oh, okay. We do have a mm -hmm. dance group, yeah, a young group mm -hmm. of dancers will be putting on a show. We have all of this. And we also just incorporated this new um, interfaith mm -hmm. praise team where we have persons or representation from all the denominations obtained in our valley. Well, we'll come and chat about how yes. all of these individuals were selected to be a part of the Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz in just a bit. Let's take a quick break. And when we get back, we have more with Kathleen and Kira. They are representing the Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz Committee. Be right back. A day, a day of, of talent, talent and creativity. Fill the box. Fill the energy. A day for the entire family. 
Podcast Re South East presents Hills and Valley's Inspirational Jazz Festival on Wednesday, 1st May 2024 at the Bex of Lane Field from 1 p.m. Put an amazing back into grace and it's absolutely free. Featuring St. Lucia's Gospel Musical Ambassador, Emran Henry, AJ, Jonel Leo, Melana Stephen, Violinist Michael Fletcher, Manasseh the Pan Man, Trumpeter Ethan Leo, featuring Anton Charles and Felisa Leo, Mountain Movers, Alanis James, Houston Sisters, Saxophonist Rashad, Donaton Legend, the National Combined Schools Choir, Labby SD Primary School Choir, CSC Interfaith Praise Team, and lots more. First of May, let the music take you away. Welcome back to TV30, a production of the Government Information Service and NTN. I am your host, Kendall Eugene. With me today, you know, the PRO of the Events Committee for Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz, uh, Kira St. Rose, and the chairperson, Mrs. Kathleen Cadet Andrew. We're chatting Hills and Valleys, that inspirational jazz that's about to unfold in Bexor, which has been now the Bexor Jazz. That's fine, and we're good with that. We're fine with that. Mm -hmm. You told me that you'll be using one half of the uh, playing fields. Uh, in Bexford, uh, one, one, of, plane the field, two one plane of the two plane fields. Yeah. I have a strong feeling you might end up with people <laughs> just flooding over, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> onto the other field. We find with that. Because of the um, names that I have seen for the Hills and Valleys inspirational jazz. Now, let's talk about entertainment. Okay, before we went into the break, you mentioned you had a dance group. Will Kira be dancing? Not yet. Okay. And that will be next, in yeah. the surprise too. I mean we are we, we, we think it of putting on a surprise segment next year where even what you don't expect, it mm -hmm. will just appear. So yeah. Kira we we we're considering her for that for next year. And then you'll be singing. Uh, now you put it out of the bag, I may not be able to because they were just supposed they to were, be a surprise. Wow, you're good. You're good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Let, let's chat about the lineup we have for um, Hills and Valley's inspirational jazz. Oh. Um, so the first segment from like 4.30 to 5.15, mm -hmm. we'll be having the Labby um, Children's Choir. We go on to the National Combined Schools Choir. We have people like Starlight, mm -hmm. um, Alanis James, and we also have the Housing Sisters. So that's the first segment okay. of the Now these are the younger yes, talents. Yes, that's, that's what I noticed. You pick that up. Yeah. Okay, so we have the youth opening the yes. right. performance uh, right. segment of the, the um, Hills and Valleys Inspirational mm -hmm. Jazz mm -hmm. event. We as we want to ensure that before the children fall asleep, they hear their pairs. And, right. You know, so we take care of the young boys. And a lot of them actually coming to see their friends perform mm -hmm. on stage. Absolutely mm -hmm. right. Okay, that's yes. actually a joy for a lot of them. And mm -hmm. then when they go back to school the next day, I saw you, I saw you, I saw you. Yes, I it's saw all, you. It's all the treat. Okay, so we have youth opening. Why did you decide to go that route with you? Because sometimes you have individuals saying, you know what, let's open this a big number. But you brought in, for example, our young youth group performing the choir. Uh, mm -hmm. These were the young um, folks we heard at the opening, at the, yeah, the press the, uh, yes, and they sounded excellent. And you just had just a small fraction of mm -hmm. that group, yes. So then this is this is the Labby SD Primary School Choir, right? And we have a, the, the voices and stuff, and a lot of the talents would be singing later on. Mm -hmm. These are past students of this choir. So it has helped develop a lot of them who become known. The Melana Steven, who is on our lineup also, and mm -hmm. Janelle Leo. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Janelle's daughter is performing in that choir also, yes. That actually so might be a historical yeah, event for it mother is. and daughter sharing the same stage. Right. Yes, right. And then we, ha we have quite a number. You'd, you'd be surprised that most of our um, performers mm -hmm. would have a child in that choir. OK. Mm -hmm. Yes. So then we have that choir. And of course, we have the National Combined School Choir. Mm -hmm. And then the Starlights, um, the st well, Starlights is a group of cousins and sisters. They too were part of the Labby SD Primary School Choir. So most of them have gone on to continue their singing career. The foundation, the, the foundation, Labby SD yes, Primary we're School we're Choir. I was just thinking that yeah. the, the foundation, I can yeah. understand now the why they were chosen to, to open. Right. So you yeah. start with the foundation mm -hmm. and you build from there. Yes, yeah. All right. So from that segment, 
Um, how long will it will it last? Um, from four four thirty to five fifteen. Okay. About forty five. Forty five minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, our segments are short like this, so we mm -hmm. try to pack, you know, as much as possible into each segment. Because we don't, we don't want people to go home very yeah. late as well. No. The next day is next work. day's work. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure people to get right. everything, and then they have sufficient time to get home. All right. And then speaking of home, well, we'll get to that shortly. We'll get to okay. That. All right. Home is something we need to get to. Let's <laughs> talk about segment two. Segment two. So from 5.45 to 6.20, mm -hmm. we will go on to a band change, Manasse. We have people like Marvin Felix, the James sisters, and also Michael, Michael Fletcher okay. in segment two. So you have a, a, a mixture of singing mm -hmm. and musical instruments mm -hmm. during that segment second segment all right. so we, we're starting to pump it up from yeah. the second segment all right so we, we've done the foundation now you're about to build mm -hmm. okay yeah, we're, building, we're, coming. Are, we're on the second floor mm -hmm. all right now you said a combination of um singing and instruments being yes played. Um, who are the individuals that will be performing with their musical instruments manasseh mm -hmm. moving felix is okay. a saxophonist mm -hmm. manasseh also then we have it well later on I'm not sure if I'm supposed to share it just now, but then we have some other instrumental. Okay, um, we'll highlight them after yeah, we get to yeah. that. All right, so segment two taken care of, mm -hmm. and that one will be how long? Um, uh, six, five forty-five to six twenty. How long is that? Forty-five minutes. Very good. Very good. That's nice. <laughs> <Another 40 laughs> so nice forty-five yeah. minute block. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's watch. And you see how quickly uh, forty-five minutes goes. Oh, so. believe me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You Especially would, when you're enjoying music. Exactly. It goes very you wouldn't even realize like wait. It's done? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so we're moving on now to segment three. Segment three. And then that runs from 6.20 to 7.20. So we have an hour mm -hmm. in this one. See, I knew my math this time. <laughs> um, so we go on to Ethan Leo, mm -hmm. um, Milana Stephen. We have Rashad, AJ, and we have John L. Leo, who Kathleen speak, spoke about yeah. right. um, previously. And we heard John L. We've been hearing John L. for yes. quite some time, and now we get the opportunity to see her perform on a jazz stage, mm -hmm. something that I know she's very excited for and about. A lot of people were mesmerized by her performance at the launch. Mm -hmm. and I mean, I, I was like, I mean, I know John L. from childhood when she was a baby mm -hmm. and then i'm like oh my goodness when did she develop into such a talent of mm -hmm. course these also these some of our young people on in this segment and our lineup mm -hmm. also winners of um what's it star fest what is oh, it there was star star quest star quest yeah. and then there's another the youth um, oh, youth fest, youth fest mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. these are winners of this all right um, okay yeah. I, I remember that. Yeah, Janelle John and Milana. Yeah, Janelle yeah. yeah. was a winner right. of the Youth Fest, mm -hmm. now Music Fest, at least. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. All right. So we're moving from segment three now. Do we still have more? Because we, 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 we have a little break for people to, you know, get some water, get some juice, mm -hmm. get some yeah. food. Because, you know, after to all that praising, energy, yes. because in our fourth segment, we have the one and only Emran Henry. Our gospel ambassador. We yep. also have, you know, before we get to Emran, we have AJ. Mm -hmm. This is another local talent in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. AJ, of course, has made a name for himself, not just on the local scene, but also internationally. Correct, correct. And mm -hmm. then we climax with our gospel ambassador, Emran Henry. Emran Henry. Now, Emran, we saw Emran last year. Right. On the main stage, on jazz. Main stage and a lot jazz. of people were upset that they did not get to see him on exactly. the stage. Right. This is why we thought, what best person to start our inaugural event in Castries, um, right. in Bexon. Mm -hmm. But Emran Henry, because so many people, I mean, it's like yesterday, you look outside your window, like, I didn't even get a chance. But yes. now you have a chance to see him, and it's for free. Mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, why wouldn't you come? And he's so excited to be. That is an understatement. Right yes, now, he's on his way to St. Lucia. Right. And he's been, this guy is on a high. He mm -hmm. cannot wait to get there. He's mm -hmm. like the best place to be. Everyone is so excited about being home just to take part in this. It's really exciting. We can't wait to have it. We, we yes. heard the excitement in his voice when he yes. had to give his little yeah, when two he, speeches. Yes. We thought it was going to be pre-recorded until we realized everyone was actually live on a live, Skype call yes. and he wanted to be right there at the launch. Not the even the show. No. The launch. The launch, yes. Okay. Yes. So Emron Henry is the um, headliner for the uh, inaugural Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz. 
What would you like to see come out of the entire event itself? What, what, what would you like people to take away from it? I honestly want people to live there on a spiritual height, you know, mm -hmm. like, of course, to be on that hill, mm -hmm. you know, like whatever you're going through, just remember that when you live there, there's something to look up to, you know, because we are, we are not just singing and having all this fun and stuff, but the name of Jesus will be praised mm -hmm. and persons will understand that there's hope mm -hmm. because this is one of the messages I remember from Emran's performance last year. He testified and saying how he's been through the valleys and then all what he went through, how everything, you know, was able to turn around and all the testimonies he gave. In fact, he reminded us of one of that testimonies in a recent interview when he spoke about his wife being barren and mm -hmm. stuff. And now he has children, not a child, children, mm -hmm. because of his experience, you know, and with praying and, t and fasting and asking mm -hmm. God what he wants. So it's something that's available to all of us. And I just hope that people live there knowing that Jesus is available to all. And you just have to have that faith mm -hmm. and you can get that. Mm -hmm. So people probably mistaken, it's not a gospel show. It's, it's much more than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's an experience that everybody would want to come and get. So it's more than a gospel show. I mean, having a show is one thing. Mm -hmm. Getting an experience from something is completely, mm -hmm. totally different. Right. Yeah. Kira, what about you? What, what do you think you want to take away? Yeah. I, think, I think Kathleen took the words right of, out of my mouth. I just want people to leave there feeling born again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, born again Christians, um, let us understand that God is always with us. Or let us understand that he lives. We have um, individuals who would come to an event like that for the very first time and not understanding what they're experiencing. What would, you, what would you say to somebody who heard about Hills and Valleys, you know, the inspirational jazz, decided to come down to Bexo and left thinking, I'm missing something? What would you say to that person? Keep searching. It's right there. It's available to all of us. Do not just stop and say, OK. But then you see whatever you feel, mm -hmm. keep searching, keep looking. Because I mean, like Kira said, God is there. He's available to all of us. And if you just stop and like, you know, you keep getting that little nudge from the spirit, but then you're not moving, mm -hmm. you've not gotten to the place he wants you mm -hmm. to. He wants you to be. So you must always ask, what's my purpose? Why am I here? And listen to that voice. He's going to answer you. He's going to answer. The Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz. Let them know again where it is taking place. Okay, so you are going down south mm -hmm. on the Bexel Plain Field is located right opposite the Catholic Church. That's between the speed bumps. I'm sure you'd see a sign. We have a sign pointing to the field mm -hmm. on that road. And also where parking, which is a big issue for people, this road is really busy. I mean, persons know Bexon with accidents and, you know, speeding yeah. and all of this. So the speed bump is going to slow you down. But then before you get to the speed bump, you'll see the sign saying parking. You just follow the arrow. Is going to lead you to our designated parking area, mm -hmm. which houses approximately 200 vehicles. Okay. So you, there's no need to park on the main road. Excellent. Right. So the traffic will not traffic be a will not and be a problem. Transportation will be available. This is a big thing because mm -hmm. persons have asked us, "How do I get there? Yes. Will transportation be available?" We've spoken with most of the associations in the vicinity of Castro Southeast on our perimeters, mm -hmm. and they've said yes, the buses will be running. Most of them, they'll not go through Castries, but if you're coming from the Castries area, the Bexon bus stop is going to be relocated. Usually on a holiday, it's mm -hmm. relocated to Bridge Street, right next to M&C Drugstore. So the Bexon bus stop will be there on that holiday, and buses run till 11 p.m. So you will be able to go and come back hassle-free. Okay. Well, thank you so very much for being our guest here this morning. Uh, looking forward to the Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz or as we are now calling it, Bexo Jazz, <laughs> and um, wishing all the best to the committee. And we hope that it does not end with one year and we live to see many more of the Hills and Valleys Inspirational Jazz experience. It's not just a show, it's an, an experience. experience. Right. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. This is a TV 30 from morning into afternoon. Got to love it. Uh, oh, before we leave, what time does it end? We're hoping to end by 9 p.m. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for that.
we will say so long for TV30. I've been your host, Kendall Eugene. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.